Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure and today I will be installing the Cardo com system uh, as promised in the previous video on my Schubert C3 helmet. So I will remove my Senna and uh, I will install the Cardo Pactock Bold in place of that one and i'll move that one over to another helmet that uh, i have purchased uh, for my daughter so let's uh, not waste any more time and jump into the removal of the uh, cheek pads and everything else so i can get into and install that uh, new card.com system um, i'm using a towel on the bottom just not to scratch the helmet too much to remove the cheek pads on the c3 there's a couple clips, clips on both sides, so those have to be unclipped. All right, and now right here, there's little tabs um, where that, when it's holding the collar. So be careful on that, not to break that. So just slowly pull that back and then you can remove the collar. The best way is just to pull those plastics a little bit aside so you see those little plastics on the side of the helmet you can just peel it back a bit and there's there is that uh, little tab that i mentioned and we can unclip uh, the cheek pads and you can slide out the straps out of the way Not sure if you can see, uh, but there's one, two, three clips uh, that uh, you have to uh, disconnect and same thing on the opposite side. And there is one clip on the back here, the same clip, you just snap it off, just pull it back and that will loosen up uh, the whole cheek pads. So I'll go ahead and I'll remove the uh, comm system, so the existing comm system out of here, and then I'll proceed with the installation. All right, so I've got the Senna system out and now it's time to install the new Cardo. So, Keep in mind here on the speakers, uh, one wire is longer, one wire is shorter. So obviously the shorter side will go uh, on the same side uh, where the comm system is located, which is on the left side. You definitely don't want to put it on the right side because that's your throttle control. So you want to have access with your left hand to the comm system on your helmet. So what you want to start with, there is a couple Velcro pads provided. I already have them from my Senna, so basically they are on a 3M, so you want to clean the surface and with alcohol or something, and then you can stick on your Velcro and uh, the speakers attached to this. And when you're feeding the wire uh, for the second speaker, you want to go under those straps uh, so this way it you're not gonna end up with the wire on the surface i usually just drop it inside the helmet and i'll pick it up on the other side so you want to get those speakers under your headliner there so it's uh, not showing anywhere it's a good idea also to make the adjustment uh, here with that velcro whatever you're putting i made that earlier so you know that uh, it's center on your ear this way you get the best uh, sound quality so keep that in mind this because there's a little play uh, how you put, put that velcro in there so you can move it forward or you can move it a little bit back uh, whatever suits your um, ear how, how it's gonna sit on there And you want to make sure all your wiring is nicely tucked in inside so it's not interfering with anything. All 
and I'll start with re reconnecting the clip in the back and now I can proceed with good location for the corridor. With the corridor you get a couple different uh, base mounts so this one here uh, that will just slide on some of the helmets uh, so basically you just attach the clip right there and you can slide it uh, under the side of the helmet but uh, that doesn't really work too well on this helmet so i will have to use the mount with uh, 3m tape so i'll i'll glue it on here and uh, this way i can have this mount instead of uh, struggling with the other one because uh, the thickness of the helmet here it's uh, quite uh, difficult to slide it under without making any damage and this way it should stay pretty clean. So you want to find a good location where that uh, cardo is gonna go. So I think for me, I'm gonna have to put it closer to the bottom edge here. This way it's not sitting kind of uh, awkward on top and uh, the wire has uh, a little bit less showing. So that's gonna be probably fine to install it this way. I have removed my visor just to, so I don't scratch it. So that's also another hint uh, probably to follow. So it is included in your car cardio kit, uh, the alcohol prep pad, but I have a bottle of uh, rubbing alcohol that is as good. So I will not be using the pad, I'm just gonna use the alcohol that I have. And you want to clean the surface pretty good. So this way there is no any road debris or detergents when you're washing the helmet. Uh, this way that will ensure that the pad is gonna stick well to the helmet. So now we want to wait a little bit to dry it, make sure everything evaporates because otherwise it won't stick properly. And I will be using the boom mic, uh, not the, because there's two different mics uh, that came with Cardo system and uh, same idea as um, Senna. You got two different microphones like this one here uh, that's more for solid helmets and if you have a module or helmet most likely you're gonna have to use uh, this guy here so just keep that in mind so to glue it just make sure to press it firmly like uh, like any 3m you have to press it firmly and hold it for a few seconds just to make sure it uh, that adhesive is uh, gonna contact the surface pretty well Keep on pressing down on it, uh, just be careful not to break the helmet. <laughs> and if you have the visor, uh, the shade visor here, you want to make sure you clear off uh, any um, uh, area from here, so this way you can still access with your thumb visor switch. So now at this point, all you have to do is uh, reconnect your headphones and it's got a normal uh, TRS jack. So just connect your headphones uh, to this jack and drop it inside the helmet. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but uh, there's a little groove right here. So you can route your cables in between that uh, groove. This way it's, everything is sitting out of the way. Uh, just be careful not to route anything in here because uh, that's where your cable is for the visor. Next thing, you will think how you want to place your boom mic. I will cut that down in half because that's way too big. And again, I'm gonna have to clean the surface right here. So I will place my uh, Velcro pads right underneath the speaker for the first part of the boom mic and then right in the front here to uh, for the second one that, that's holding the tip of the mic here. All right, so this is where I put one of the pads and then the second uh, velcro pad is right here. Now I will uh, attach the mic. All 
Okay, and now you want to reconnect the microphone cable. Put everything back inside there. And now uh, you are ready to reconnect all the clips. And the other side, same story. And at this point you want to make sure all your wires are nicely tucked in behind the shell and the liner of the helmet. This way you got no pressure points on your head. And now we are ready to reinstall the collar. So again you want to start with those tabs going in first and then work your way around it. This is the hard part actually. You may have to do both first and then pr pr press in the collar after that. There we go. So now you can work your way around and tuck in the collar where it should sit. Reinstall the clips. As you see, it is uh, pretty simple to install a comm system on this helmet. I couldn't find any videos uh, online on a C3, but since I had an idea, since I had a car, uh, the Senna on here. And at this point, we are pretty much done. The collar is sitting nice and tight. The microphone is sticking right here, so you can make the adjustment, bring it closer. I have this one here that's uh, for my cardo. And then inside, I have the second mic for my GoPro for when I ride and vlog. So let's try it out if uh, everything is sitting there correctly, if I got no pressure points on the helmet. It sits good and it's quite close to your mouth. At this point I'm ready to install the Cardo Pactoc Bold in a cradle. And this is how it looks finished. As you see, it uh, took me probably uh, less than an hour to install the whole thing. There's nothing ready to it. We're gonna try this bad boy uh, probably uh, uh, tomorrow or day after uh, when I go on a first uh, ride. So let's see if I can connect it to the phone first. I already have the app and I paired it uh, before I installed it. I wanted to make sure everything is working. Uh, so that's a good idea before you go through the installation process to test uh, the Cardo and make sure it's working uh, before you proceed with the installation so you don't have a surprise uh, later on. You press the uh, front button and the bottom button together. It actually sounds quite, quite awesome. A uh, very nice sound out of those uh, JBL uh, speakers. I really recommend the upgrade over the standard speaker. So uh, if you go with the, the black uh, special edition, uh, you're getting those uh, 45 millimeter speakers, which are a huge improvement uh, over the regular speakers, uh, whether they are Cardo or uh, Senna. I will reinstall my visor. So that was a short video uh, how to install the Cardo Pactoc Bold Black Special Edition on Schubert C3 helmet. Uh, it's a modular helmet. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Always comment down below and subscribe to my channel to stay updated every time I release a new content. Friday uh, or tomorrow maybe I'll head out riding. So see you in the next video. Cheers for now. Take care. Ride safe out there.